Birmingham's BRMB. No. No, boy. You're feeding him, he's getting worse. So ever since you had that banana, you've got better, haven't you? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. all tired. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually quite interested in this last question, Go second on. from last question. Who actually inspired David Brent? Was it a particular person? Now, um, I've heard different things, but I, I wondered who it was, or was it? No, he's a sort of um, Frankenstein's monster of yeah. some of the people I knew growing up and that uh, I worked for, but no, he's not one person in particular. Oh, okay. okay. And then soon he was like, you know, you know totally fictitious. So, uh, um, no, he was, uh, it's more to do with his traits, really, than it being based on anyone. He was. Um, you know, had the big blind spot, midlife crisis, all those sort of classic things, really. But no, there's not, there's not one person who's who's based it. There's a lot of David Brents out there. There, there are a lot. There's lots. My boss is a bit like David Brent. We've got a little bit of David Brent in all of us, haven't we? <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Yeah. And the last question, most final, most important question: If you had to marry a man, who would it be? Yeah, that is an important question. Um, I think Plato pondered that one. Um, now, what did Kierkegaard say about that? Did he say, um, what's it? Uh, well, one without, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Yeah, okay, don't get dirty. Ricky we'll Tomlinson. <laughs> You're doing lovely together, you and Ricky Tomlinson, in matching bonnets, <laughs> just balancing on the nose. Robin, you are weird. Bonnets.